<laughs> and of course, that's when the bees and the wasps start to chip in to your day because they live outside, okay? So they'll start to come into your life. And you'll deal with the situation, I believe, as a British person, in one of three ways. Um, you'll recognize yourself in this as we go through it. When a bee or a wasp buzzes into your life, bzzz, either you are firstly a wafter, okay? You'll know who you are if you're the wafters. They're quite cool, by the way. If you're a wafter, you're quite cool. You just, bzzz, you just deal with the situation. Bzzz, okay, I'll figure out. I don't need that. Bzzz, sure, sure. Sometimes you don't even break stride in your conversations. So the other day we were, you just dealt with the situation. <laughs> Uh, you're not trying to hit it, I'm just going to move the air near you. And you'll know that this isn't an area where you're particularly welcome, OK? I'm a wafter. Right, next up, secondly, you have the stay stillers. Now, they are very serious people. And they're very adamant that their strategy is the best one to deal with the situation. OK, nobody move, just stay completely still. Don't make it angry. Don't encourage it. They get quite angry with the wafters. Don't waft it! <laughs> You're just making it angry! You're encouraging it, don't encourage it! It's not interested in us, and we're not interested in it. See, it's gone now. Just stay completely still, and it'll get about its business, OK? <laughs> then, the third way, the total panickers. Right? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh! Was it a hornet? Was it a hornet? <laughs> you know, if it gets you on the throat, you can die. You can die. <laughs> right? That's the third way. Now, wafters are able to upgrade and become total panickers. They allow themselves that privilege. You know? If things, zzz, if their wafting zzz, is ineffective and the wasp keeps coming back, zzz, then you can see them start to panic. <laughs> Which is why wafters really hardly ever get stung. And total panickers almost never get stung. You know who gets stung? The stay stillers. <laughs> because they cannot break out of their seriousness. <laughs> they are such firm believers that they have the right strategy. And this is why I thought of this. I've got a friend, he's a stay stiller. And a wasp not only buzzed around him, but landed on his face. <laughs> and he just went, the best thing to do is stay completely still. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. It's on your face. <laughs> I don't want to encourage it. But you're just encouraging it to crawl into your eye. It's walking towards your eye. He's like, no, the best thing to do, it's not interested in me. It seems pretty interested in you. <laughs> Why don't you waft it? The worst thing I could do is waft it. Just stay completely still, then another one landed <laughs> on the other side of his face. I'm like, dude, you now have two wafts on your face. And then it stung him. I've got to say, it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Because he couldn't just scream. He had to make out that he was still in the right. And he just went... <laughs> it has now stung me. It stung my face. It stung me on the face. But I think the best thing to do is to not encourage it to sting me again. <laughs> if a total panicker gets stung, you know about it. So, ah! 